yourself to accomplish things that you just, you know, normally wouldn't be able to do. That was Spider-Man there, running, swimming, and jumping through obstacle courses filled with muddy water. They're available all year round in Central Florida, and for weekend warriors, mud runs have become an alluring adventure. Yeah, but with the challenge comes the potential for some nasty illnesses that can have a long-term impact on your body. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden reveals the mud run risks. For those looking to go to the extreme, a mud run seems like a fun way to test your limit. You don't worry about the dirtiness or the unsanitariness, it's just the experience. And I had never done one, I didn't know what it was all about. Doug Blaylock was looking to spice up his normal routine when he signed up for a tough mudder in 2013. That's where Blaylock says he shocked his ear. If you're on your belly crawling along in mud and it has wires hanging down that are charged with the fence chargers. I almost made it to the end and apparently one charger was turned up pretty high and zapped me on the ear. It took two years, but the injury he described as a growth on his ear finally healed. He says he's lucky. And my eye started hurting like maybe I'd got mud or some debris in my eye. Brittany Williams describes her mud run recovery as something from a horror movie. You have to stay awake and they like take scissors and cut. I know it's really gross. Doctors believe her cornea was scratched at some point diving into the muddy water, which made her eye susceptible to this severe infection. It just completely like melted off of my eye. Dr. Irvin Salapa says cornea scratches are very concerning since they can create a list of long term problems and are more likely to happen on a mud run than another physical challenge. It's the same risk as when you're. Um, you leave your contacts in overnight. The difference between that and the mud run is that you know you're not having bacteria that may be uh, in that. A 2012 CDC report found 22 people in Nevada who participated in one of these runs unintentionally consumed the mud and ended up with a bacteria that left them with a fever, vomiting, and diarrhea. You're forcing yourself to go through the mud, climb obstacle courses, so you're actually even putting more risk to potential infection rather than just going out on a general run. Blaylock says now he'll stick to those general workouts and avoid extreme courses. I think there are plenty of things they could do to keep the challenge and keep the excitement but reducing the risk of somebody having a life-changing injury. But it's too late for Brittany. Her eyesight likely won't return. There are tons of these races being offered a year. In fact, right here in Florida, we found there are several being scheduled even a year in advance. So doctors say if you plan on participating, have fun, but be careful. I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.